your chip. <laughs> I need a cookie. I need a We're back with Doki Doki Literature Club. The girl is also still here. Hello. Let's all try not to be super loud. Maybe open your well, bag a little more. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, sorry. All right. I got this. Oh, we're all starving. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So, we're back with Doki Doki. We have... Me. I'm uh, reading as Yuri. And then... And, uh... So that was Kira. Are you doing Natsuki? No, I'm Natsuki. Say we're gonna, we're gonna wing it mostly. Someone's calling. And then meet me, <laughs> Isabel as um. I think I'm doing yeah. I'm doing Natsuki and Monica. Monica. And I'm I'm a main guy. And that's gonna be a main guy. <laughs> and I'm background entertainment. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> who should I show my poem to next? Oh, um. <laughs> it's been so long. I don't know. Natsuki or Monica. Not cheap. I like her. Okay, Natsuki. That was cute, I think, right? No, that was you. That's me. Oh, sorry. Mm. And a if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. <laughs> what? Or the one the curse voice. <laughs> what? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? It's like ASMR. Ew! <laughs> my please! Do you think I'm stupid? Yeah. Oh, jeez! I mean a little bit. I I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. <laughs> we all started somewhere, right? Why are you blushing? I look like an anti- If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Hey, girl, think about. Damn! Hi. Oh, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off trying again. Fair enough. Oh, they eat their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I got to share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. <laughs> Can I read it? Me, hero. Oh, I have some more voice. Oh boy. What? Oh, I'm losing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. one here, did you? Yeah, it was not. Wow, great. 
I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Thank you. Yeah. Just Monica. Monocle. Monocle. Hi, Edamame! Having a good time so far? Which one used the friend that lives down the street? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, Sayori. Sayori. <coughs> You're Sayori, right? Yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Not. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up, but I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? I'd rather die, thanks. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> How do you do that so quickly? <laughs> like Don't worry, Edamame. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But if that's our barrier that we'll, we'll all learn to get past uh, it. Maybe it's just center of balance. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. Great job, Edamame. You really? <laughs> She's just staring at me. <laughs> I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. I'm like, oof, ouch. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. Oh. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Yeah, our crew is the metaphor, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's all a little... I guess I underestimated you. Nice. It's easy. Oh. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way I always count when I put in minimal effort. Uh, that's not very fair. Okay. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yuri, the purple hair girl that you love? I know, I'm trying to play hard to get. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, he likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Am I supposed to be taking notes? Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all the new nuances. <laughs> <laughs> it can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. Calling her old? <laughs> yeah. She's a super senior! Hey, oh my god. Me. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. But I'm on your level. You do your own thing. I could do your own thing. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Wow. I've never tried anything. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things along. <laughs> it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the new kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to, to write. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing uh, them or anything. What does that mean? Ah! Why do you do that? Why is your son about? How are you not on the ground? <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? What is that we're doing? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You'll be good with the time I'm done with you. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have the sound confidence. Hold up, I have to drink my respect for women juice. <laughs> <laughs> respect for women. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, do you feel anything for me? Let's read it then. <clears throat> Someone in the United States is calling me. <laughs> great, Should I great more poem. ASMR. <laughs> yes. The kid was like, I gotta leave. Stop it. <laughs> this is called.
of cold blue balls. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spark of truth. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. You see a murder? It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking. She walked in on a murder? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Did so not like that. So what do you think? Yeah. It's very, uh, a free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of style has gone pretty popular nowadays. You know, talking about murder. <laughs> <laughs> that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful, like I just did. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Is it about me? It's been influencing my poems a bit. Yeah, it's about how I dream about murdering you. An epiphany? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Come on, me? What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after so everyone's upset. better friends with each other. <laughs> anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I'm in the friends of lovers. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain is too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy, up, tidy it up later. Another way to think about it, uh, it is this. <clears throat> If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. Dude. So just move your hand and go with the flow. And That's my nice. advice for today. Thanks for listening. I have all of your advice on my pages is covering scrolls. <laughs> Woo! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if it's just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Oh shit, this is a literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess it's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori <laughs> and Maika are heavily chatting. Sounds like it hurts me. My <laughs> My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, Natsuki dismissively returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? We have to stop on this line because it's Kira's. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Every single episode, we have stopped on Kira's line. Well, I guess so. We're gonna four time. Time. Yeah, this is like the fourth or fifth time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna. He's like, nope, you don't get to speak. And here, y'all. Well, at least we got to hear some uh, two poems. I know there wasn't much to this episode, but yeah. we got to hear the rest of the poems. I was disturbed, yeah. but so <laughs> Michaela ran out every time I did ASMR. I was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. Woo woo. Bubble!